You recording? Yeah. Ah, oh, he's recording great. Okay, that means I really got to start. Hey guys, have you ever felt like your relationships with your friends or your spouse, even your boyfriend or girlfriend was like, da, 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 da. <laughs> Well, guess what? I got three tips for you to help keep your relationships tight niche. Here we go. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Miles and like I said before, we have three tips for you today to help keep your relationships tight knit, whether it's your spouse, a boyfriend, girlfriend, or even your friendships. All right, you guys ready? Right here. Tip number one. Yeah, don't always have to be right. Yeah. That one probably hit home for most of us. A lot of us always have to be right in the conversation. For instance, I need a for instance. Now this is one of the main reasons I would say that people have arguments, debates, or whatever it may be, and leave upset because they always have to be right. Look, let me tell you one thing right now. You yeah, don't always have to be right. Accept it. That's okay. You don't know everything. I don't know everything. We don't know everything. Look, I heard it said like this before. If you had the choice to be kind or to be right, be kind. Now that brings me to tip number two, be present. Now what do I mean by being present? Okay, when you're with your friends, right? Isn't it the most annoying thing when you're trying to have a conversation and you see this? Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Did you hear anything that I just told you? Huh? What? Where were you? And I'm like, yeah, man, you're talking. No, you're wrong, okay? Be present, unplug. Turn it off. When you're with your friends, when you're with your spouse, when you're with your boyfriend or girlfriend, turn your phones off, okay? Social media is not important when you're with your friends. You're with your friends. Unplug, be present. I know I might be stepping on some toes right now, but guess what? I'm actually going for your throat. Cool? Tip number three. What is tip number three? Keep God at the center of your- Uh-oh, lunch. That's my wife. <laughs> Keep her at the center. <laughs> Well, no, I mean, God at the center, and then, you know, she's, she, she, she's God at the center, too. Yeah. Anyway, what was I saying? Keep God at the center. Let me just text you back, quick. Is that cool? Yes. Smiley face. And tip number three, keep God at the center of your relationships. Look, whether it's your marriage, boyfriend or girlfriend, uh, friendships, keep him at the center of your relationships. There, you'll find joy, you'll find peace, everything that you need. Keep him at the center, seriously, trust me on this one. Just try it. Look, I know these are only three tips and there are a ton more and I'm sure you're thinking of some right now. Go ahead and jot those down in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'd love to chat and just dialogue with you on that. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like this. Next week, we have something actually really special for you. So go ahead, click the notification button so you can receive that. Hey, again, I'm Miles and uh, until next time. Hey, did I disappear? Wait, did I disappear? Did, bro, I'm supposed to, di you didn't make me disappear? I can't believe you.